Our next follower submitted story here. This one is, am I the ass cannot for not wanting my niece to be in the wedding party? Little backstory, I have been with my fiance for 11 years now. We both knew, I think, that we were each other's meant to be match from year one. We moved in together before that first year was over, but we wanted to wait to get married until we were better off financially and better prepared for our life together. He proposed over the holidays, 2022, but we had been planning our wedding long before that through conversations over the years, like who the best man is, who my maid of honor is, who we would invite, what kind of service we have, who would officiate, all of this amour was decided before a full day had passed since he proposed. Skip forward six months, we have the venue chosen, which includes the ceremony venue and the reception, the food, the bouquets, the boutonnieres, the cake, and more that I can't remember at the moment. We have picked my dress, his outfit, his best man's outfit, my maid of honors, and the flower girls. Therein lies the problem, at least according to my mother. I asked my maid of honors daughter, age nine, to be my flower girl. I was there at her birth, been there for every birthday, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and major life event, Babysat her countless times. She's practically my goddaughter. She knows me, loves me, calls me aunt. My niece, seven. My sister and I have never been close. That's a story for another time. I've only seen her, my niece, at Christmas and maybe one or two times throughout the year, every year since she was born. Honestly, I barely know the girl. Last Christmas, she actually forgot my name when she was saying bye for the night. This hurts me some because her brothers, 14 and 19, I was part of their lives. I babysat them, drove and picked them up from school, took them to the movies, etc. I was a part of their lives but my niece, not so much. Now, my mother, not my sister, mind you, is asking why I didn't ask my niece to be a flower girl at the wedding. The Renaissance Festival wedding package we chose, it comes with three hair garlands. The carriage that will take us from the bridal prep room to the ceremony holds four. Myself, my maid of honor, our chosen flower girl, and my future husband, aka no room for another person, even a child. Letting or even purchasing my niece a similar dress, corresponding colors, or opposite colors of mine, maid of honor's flower girls, I'm totally fine with. Getting her a hair garland, though they are pricey, would be doable. What I'm now considering, maybe they could both be flower girls or ring bearers. Having one drop gray petals on and the other drop purple, having one carry my ring and the other carry my fiance's. However, I'm not sure that I should compromise on this for a few reasons. Firstly, she wouldn't be able to join on the carriage ride, or both of them wouldn't. I just thought it would be fun. Second, the added expense. The dress, even for a child, would be around 250 and the extra hair garland would be 65 Again, doable, but is it necessary? Third, and this is probably the major factor, I don't know if I want my sister to be a part of my day. And if her only daughter were to be a part of the wedding, she would push in in other parts too. She'd want to do hair and makeup. She's a stylist by profession. She'd want to say something at the ceremony. She's very big into church the last few years where she does ministry. Or she'd want to officiate. She did at our brother's wedding, and we already have that covered by our friend who I've known for 15 plus years. I just know that she will push in, and I don't want to deal with the fallout and anxiety. I'm already dealing with a lot of anxiety and trying not to pile it on. Part of the reason why we chose this venue was that so much was taken care of and provided for by the package we paid for. Am I the astronaut? Why, moms? Why? Why do you got to do this to weddings? You know what I mean? This is your wedding. No one else gets to decide anything but you and your betrothed. That's it. And even then, really, it's it's your call. In most cases here, if somebody is trying to guilt you into something for your wedding, they're the asshole. You are NTA here. And the specific question was, am I the astronaut for not wanting my niece to be in the wedding party? So, so wanting is a feeling, right? You can't be an asshole for feeling that way, for acting on it, depending on how you do it, you could be. But you have every right to say no here. You filled that slot a long time ago and you have good reason for doing this and it has nothing to do with your niece specifically, except that you aren't close with her. I assume by no fault of your own here. You were closer with her brothers. Maybe that was just where you were in life and you were more involved back then or closer with your sister back then, whatever the case may be. It's nothing against your niece here, but you had that role filled a long time ago. This is going to include additional expense. It's going to be more of a pain in the ass. And at that point, I'd be like, look, Ma, even if you were willing to pony up the additional expense and work a little harder to make up for the extra pain in the ass this is going to be, I would say no because the potential ramifications of my sister being involved period. If you're worried right now that she's going to shove in and try to take control of other things, she is. You know what I mean? If that fear right now, just the potential for that opportunity or that problem to exist is in you right now, it's going to happen. And that is way more than enough for you to say, no, there's too much risk involved. And I will not introduce risk into my gosh heckin' wedding day. I will not do it.
Ma'am, thank you very much. Mom, I feel like there's another element to this where mom doesn't want to deal with the fallout from sister not being involved and not getting her way. You know what I mean? I feel like that could be a potential thing here too. 